Okay, so, um, yeah, today's gonna be a little different because, well, I just want to point out that I'm actually sick, so. I don't know if you can tell by the sound of my voice, but it's just, I'm only sick in the throat area. And I guess, um, my head feels like it's being squeezed a bit, but yeah, I don't know if you can tell by my expression that I'm, yeah, I look like shit. But, you know, I'm just trying to be as positive as possible. Uh, yeah, just put on a little makeup on, um, so that I don't look like complete shit. Um, so, I planned on doing some things today. Um, going out and doing stuff or like buying stuff um, and also I was thinking of seeing a movie today um, you know because today is actually my day offs and I don't know my schedule for next week so also I don't know I'm going to be talking a whole bunch today because you know so um, so yeah one of the things that I need to do is um, well it's something for Christina's birthday so um, I'm not gonna really say because for well for one she watches my vlogs so I would rather it be a surprise. Um, and plus we'll show it in a different vlog. So, so yeah, I just feel like blah. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna leave my house and well, first of all, I need to get gas for stuff. Why do I always think that most of the time when I do vlogs, it's always when I need to get gas? Does anybody else notice that? I, I don't know. But, yeah, I'm gonna do that thing, so. Okay, I just got gas, so. Uh, yeah, I took my black sweater cardigan thing majiggy off because it's fucking hot Ugh, fucking Florida of so yeah um you know I wear um uh, black for like rainy days and all that shit but um and you know, um, well, based on what the weather says, that uh, it's supposed to rain sometime today, so that's why I wore black. And also because I feel like shit, because I'm sick. So, you know, I wear, yeah, all black because of my mood, and it's fucking hot outside, so, ugh. Anyway, um, so yeah, I got gas, now the thing I'm going to do next is, um, try to find some, uh, root dye because I don't know if you were able to tell in any of my past few videos, but I've got blonde roots growing in and it just looks weird with my black hair like yeah my black hair so 
Now I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm just fixing up the root part because I'm giving my hair a break from all the, you know, dyeing and all that stuff. So I won't be completely uh, re-dyeing it, just the roots. Cause it just looks fucking weird with the blonde hairs growing in. And then afterwards, uh, I might pay, pay a visit to the mall and I don't know, walk around and see if anything piques my interest and see if I can find something for Christina maybe. I don't know. Okay, so I just came out of the mall, and yeah, I am feeling a little bit better, but I don't know, from looking at the camera, I still look miserable, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I went and went to Hot Topic just to, you know, uh, look at anything, and probably like one or two things that caught my eye but I wasn't sure of getting them and plus I was saving up my money for like other stuff that I need to go to and let's see I went to uh, Charlotte Russe and I was meant to pick up a spe like specific things but then um, I saw a couple clothes that caught my interest and tried them on and I only picked two out of the six of clothes. It's just a shirt and um, and a dress, surprisingly. Cause usually I don't get dresses from like Charlotte Russe or anything like that. Uh, Cause I'm picky with dresses, but um, but yeah. And then the other stuff I bought is like private stuff, so, um, let's see, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to be going to Hobby Lobby, because I'm going to have more room on my walls, since I'm moving my, uh, my anime poster and my other anime pictures to the cosplay room because I don't know I just felt like it needed to feel more you know more like a cosplay room so I did ask my mom for permission and she, uh, she said it was fine because technically it's not my room and technically it's not just a cosplay room so so yeah, I'm going to be going to Hobby Lobby because I know the last time I went with Christina I found quite a lot of stuff that I really liked and would remember to come back and get some of that stuff someday. So, well, Christina knows what I'm talking about. So, so yeah, I'm going to head over there and then by the time comes... Um, I'm gonna head over to the movie theater, and, yes. So I'm at Hobby Lobby, and apparently, they're closed. Yeah, apparently, they're only open from, like, Monday to Saturday, and closed on Sundays. Yeah, I did not know they were closed on Sundays. <laughs> so... I mean, is it because, like, I noticed that, um, Hobby Lobby has, you know, a lot of, um, Christianity or, uh, oh my god, I can't say that word, Christianity or Catholic stuff in there? So, I'm wondering it's because of their, maybe, like, a religious store or something, and that's why they're closed on Sundays? I mean, that 
part makes sense. So yeah, there goes that idea. Um, but in a way, um, in, it's, in a way it's good because I can save up more money and then um, be able to buy more stuff. So, but that's okay. Um, now I just need to figure out what I need to do for the movie. Uh, oh yeah, so apparently it's finally raining. Finally decided to rain. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Even though I'm feeling better, I still feel blah. Sick. Ugh. You know what? I'm starting to get hungry, but then again, I'm like... Even though I'm sick, I shouldn't really eat anything at the movie theater, but just thinking about the theater food and me being hungry just makes me want it. Like, I don't care if I'm sick. I'll just, I'll just have what I want at the movie theater and then, I don't know, drink soup and get drunk on orange juice later. <laughs> but yeah, um... Well, I guess what I can do is show you guys the, the things I bought. Not the private stuff, obviously. Just the two things that I bought. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but... Okay. Actually, let me try something. So, cool thing is, is that somewhere on my steering wheel, I found a perfect spot to put my phone. Um, so it could be held up while I show you guys stuff. So, awesome. Um, so the first shirt I got is this. It's like a, a maroon type of shirt and it's got like a deep cut in the front and it's covered with um, a mesh or a fishnet type of material. So yeah. I've been starting to get into like um, shirts with like deep deep cuts down the chest and yeah I was having trouble with this with this shirt and another shirt but the deep cut on the chest was different it didn't have a mesh or fishnet um, you know covering the cut of the shirt it just had it was just tied together with like strings like like a corset and I was trying to decide uh, which one to pick so, um, yeah, I figured I already have like maybe one or two shirts that have the deep cut with the s strings uh, keeping the cut together. So I figured I wouldn't get that shirt, but I would go with this shirt instead. So, um, and then the other th thing that I got was a dress. It's like a... I don't even know what color it is. Does it say on here? No. Okay. Um. It's like a, um. Like, I don't know what color it is. It's kind of like a pink but not pink dress. I, I don't know. I don't know. But, like, it's a dress. It's, uh. It's a little skin tight, but I did get uh, a decent um, size for me. But this is what the top of the dress looks like. All that. And basically, the dress stretches down to like, um, I would say like right at your knees or, or past your knees or something like that. 
with me, I don't like dresses or skirts that uh, hit right at my knee or that go under my knee because it it just feels weird to me. Um, but I do like it when dresses and skirts are more. They have to be like a little above the knee or maybe an inch or two shorter than that maybe but not too short to where my butt is almost showing okay so so yeah and then you know everything else is just more of the private side when it comes to clothing um so yeah, I'm going to uh, see what time it is, and I don't know what I'm going to be doing while I wait for the movie, so. Okay, um, I guess I'll see you guys at the movie theater. Okay, so I'm at the movie theater. Um, yeah, I looked up um, the movie that I was going to be seeing today. Uh, just so you know, it's uh, Wish Upon, which is a new horror movie that came out. Um, yeah, I just looked it up, and apparently it's PG-13. So, I don't know, just usually in my book, um, horror movies that are like PG-13 are like, are usually not good. So, um... And also, uh, one of my, one of the guys who does movie reviews that I subscribe to on YouTube, um, he went and saw the movie and apparently he gave, he basically said in the review that it was bad or in her, or in his terms, it's dog shit. Um, if you guys know who I'm talking about, it's, or don't know who I'm talking about, it's, uh, Jeremy John's uh, movie reviews so I don't know I'm hoping that it won't be bad because it looked good in the trailer and movies have looked good in the trailer but not good the actual movie itself but I'm keeping my fingers crossed for this one because I don't want to see like another bad movie like my cousin Rachel that I went to see a while ago so all right I'm gonna start heading on in before it rains any heavier so all right hey so I made it back home um, from the movie and I've got to say um I liked it like, it was good for a uh, PG-13 horror movie. Um, I guess basically I'll start with the box. I mean, okay, I won't... I'll really try not to spoil anything, okay? But, um... But one of the things I liked about this movie was... Um, the concept of the box and, like... The backstory. So basically, this box has Chinese writing all over it, and um, basically, the main girl she doesn't know what it means or whatever, and um, she does take it somewhere to get translated. And basically, what the box does is. Um, the box grants you seven wishes, um, and like, um, well yeah, at the time, just basically grants you seven wishes and, um, that the box belonged to a woman, a Chinese woman named, I think it was Lu Mei or something like that. And basically her backstory was like, she, um, 
her family died traumatically, and I think this is around, like, maybe before World War II, but anyway, it happened a long time ago, so, um, yes, so she took, um, the most valuable thing that her family had, and that was the music box, and, um, so... She died, and I can't remember the exact details, but but yeah, before she died, she kept the box and used it for like um, evil reasons, and then she died. So the box got carried around and basically destroyed a lot of people's lives and and killed a lot of people. So. So basically, the box, um, our main girl, I think her name is Claire, not really sure, but yeah, the main girl, she uses up a few wishes, and I could see it how, like, she doesn't see how, like, it all connects to, um, uh, like, what the box is meant to do. And this is like before she goes to see that the box, um, box being translated. So she just thinks it's like, you know, like a magic lamp or something. So it, it's like a good magic box. But the thing is, it's not. The thing with the box is like if you you if you wish for something, you'll get that wish, but in return, um, a life is taken away. And let's say if, if you gained a wish, but the thing is you don't like it and you, I guess, like reject it or something, then um, another life is taken away, basically. I, I hope I'm getting this right, though. But, um, but yeah, um... So yeah, with the whole, like, um, she uses up, like, a few wishes and doesn't connect the dots, how, like, oh, you know, you make a wish, each, each wish you, you make, a life is taken away. But then, um, after the box gets translated, um, you know, she finds out that the box is actually evil and that it takes takes lives away if you make a wish. But at first I thought she was just being stupid because it's like she knew there were lives being taken away if she made a wish, but she was still but she still wanted to make wishes and all that stuff. But then as the movie moved on quite a bit, I understood and it really showed how like the main character was being like obsessed with this magic box like like she was acting like crazy and like she was very jittery and like she was like going mad if um if she didn't have the like box with her like at all times so um, you know, basically, um, even though, um, the box was doing all these killings, I was expecting, like, some sort of, like, demon to, to show up or show its appearance, but it turns out, um, no demon showed up, like, a demon was never shown or whatever um, but then again I do find it find that okay because it leaves it more mysterious that we never get to see what the demon looks like that is you know working the magic box or whatever but yeah but um, anyway so near the end of the movie the character um, 
she basically finds a way to like you know make it seem like um how these wishes never worked out or she undid um like like she made it um I think it was her last wish where like she wished that um she can go back to the day when her dad gave her the box in the first place so you know so you go back to the first day everything is left uh where it was left like no wishes were made and no lives were taken away basically um so she thinks like she's basically solved everything and everything's okay but let's just say our main character she she doesn't get a chance to um you know um when basically the battle over this box just that's that's what I'll say like I really tried not to spoil everything but I don't know how would how I would explain the ending and all that but um but yeah I thought it was it was good for a PG-13 movie <sighs> so Oh yeah, and some of the deaths, um, there were a few deaths that were like, were kind of like, eh, like, like not realistic type, type of thing, but like, but there, there were some moments where like, I was like, I was like, like cringing, you know. So, um, let's see, is there anything else? Um. Um, acting, I would say, um, it was mostly alright. There were a few moments where it, where it wasn't as great. <laughs> but, um, but I was more into the story, and I liked how, you know, based on a horror movie that's dealing with demonic, um, subjects, um, they usually go for like, um, with, uh, with the Catholic or Christianity, Christianity idea, where like, you get a priest and do exorcisms and all that, and all that jazz. And I know there's been maybe a few here and there that involved with the Jewish religion but but this one was unique because it went with the Chinese uh, beliefs which I thought was pretty cool so but yeah um that's basically it I mean I tried not to spoil as best as I best as I could and yeah that's it and I'm glad that this vlog is ending on a good note. So, <clears throat> so yeah, I'll see you guys next time in another video.